Welcome to this video, Music Business Management 101, Lesson 1, Becoming a Registered Business. Now that you're set in making money as a musician, there's some things you want to take care of. But before we go further, I just want to make it clear. I am not a tax professional or a lawyer. This is not legal opinion. I'm simply stating what I know from my experience in business. So here's how to become a business. You want to set up an LLC for your music career, even if you're just doing a solo career. Then you want to get an EIN from the IRS or business tax ID in other countries. You also want to get a bank account under that business ID. You'll want to set up Stripe and PayPal to take payments. And you'll want to get accounting software set up such as QuickBooks. You can do this as needed because at first you can start with simple spreadsheets to help you. Then you'll want to get a tax account to do your taxes and advise on obligations that you might have that other people who are not musicians don't have. You also potentially might think about business insurance. However, with music career, unless you're actually selling something that might be potentially harmful or dangerous or like merch or something like you're selling Swiss Army knives. But if you're not doing any of those things, you probably don't need business insurance, especially not at the start of your career. So why do you want to take these steps? Well, why should you become a business? Well, first, an LLC protects against people suing you personally and taking your home, car, and other assets. Now, your music may not have any risk here. However, if you do create some explicit lyrics or there was a, an instance where Blink-182 actually got sued by some parents whose kid actually committed suicide to one of their songs, and that's obviously pretty tragic, but also they have an LLC for their business, so they're actually not being sued personally. They were being sued as a business. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm not saying you should write songs that necessarily you know, condone suicide, not that they did either. However, when something bad happens, you definitely want to protect yourself. And you especially want to do this if you're selling physical assets, like merch that could potentially be dangerous or have some offensive language on it or something like that. The only way you're not protected is if you actually commit a crime, hence the word it's limited liability. So an LLC is a limited liability company. Here's the key one, though. You actually get a better tax rate as a business than if you take all the money personally. So if you don't set up a business, you're generally being charged about 30% or more in personal taxes. If you take it as a business, you'll charge usually between 20 and 25%. So you get a much better tax rate. Here's another risk. If you're in a band and one person puts the money into their account, they get taxed for all of that income instead of it being split up. So for example, if the band makes $50,000 a year, but four people split it and they're only supposed to get about $12,500, well, they're going to make $12,500 in income, but essentially they're going to have 30% taxes on $50,000, which guess what? It's 15 grand. So they're actually going to end up paying more in taxes than they made in income. And that's obviously not what anybody wants, and that's not what the person whose bank account it is wants either. And you don't get taxed on business expenses. So let's just break this down. If you made $50,000 in income and spent $10,000 on expenses, you only get taxed on $40,000 of income because it's what they call taxable income because you have already had $10,000 expenses. That's not income, right? That's going out. Therefore, you pay 20%, let's say, roughly, on taxes on $40,000, which is $8,000. As a non-biz, you would pay about 30% or more on the $50,000, which is closer to $15,000. So you saved about $7,000 for filing as a business instead of taking the money as you. Because as a person, you don't get to actually apply business expenses because you're not a business. So you see how you can save a decent amount of money just from filing as a business for one year. Essentially, you keep more of what you make and you have less risk of losing what you make as well. So let's take some action. Use the LLC setup and next steps document below this video to set up an LLC in your state. The example is for Nevada, but you can apply it pretty straightforwardly to pretty much any other state. If you're in a different country, just go to the tax entity's website of your country and you can pretty much follow along to their auto wizard or whatever they call it, like a setup wizard. Then you want to get an EIN from the IRS as well, or business ID from whatever country you're in. Get yourself a bank account for your business. And then anytime you take payments or income, make sure to deposit into the, the bank account for your business, not for your personal account. Otherwise, you're going to get taxed as personal income. 